Hey guys, it's Ty bringing you a tutorial video on adding overlays to your PS4 and your Xbox gaming streams without a capture card. Now before we get started, uh, I just got a few quick things to note. First, this is my first video, so please be gentle, um, but please do leave feedback because all feedback is good feedback. Um, I recently found this workaround and decided to start a gaming channel, so you won't see much in on my channel at the time of this recording. Um, I'm completing this on a Mac and a PS4, but you can use a Windows, PC, um, an Xbox, or any combination of any of the systems altogether. Uh, everything works fluidly together, as does all the software. Um, you will need to have a few items available. So, one, obviously the Mac or the PC. Two, you will need to set up OBS, which is a great streaming software, and that's what you use to uh, input the overlays on your stream. Um, let's see, you'll need a Restream.io account. It's a great site that lets you use OBS to stream directly to that, and then from there it gets restreamed to all of your other um, live streaming accounts. It's a great, great service to have, and it's free. I'm pretty frugal about this whole process, so you won't need a capture card, you won't need anything but all these free services. The overlay uh, you will need overlays. You can either find them online or you can make your own. The ones that you'll see in this video I actually made within about 15 minutes using a program called GIMP. It's considered the poor man's pro, uh, Photoshop, so uh, feel free to download that. All of the links uh, to the software I'll be using is going to be down in the comments, so feel free to take a look at those, download those at your heart's desire. Um, let's see, other things to note. I do. I will be using two YouTube channels. One is to stream the content directly from the PS4 into YouTube. From there, we're going to capture the video and send it to our main channel. So I have the one YouTube channel I don't care about. That one is simply to send the video from my PlayStation to that channel. The second one is going to be the channel that you're actually watching this video on. The one that is that I actually like and want to keep. So. Um, if there are any questions, make sure that you put them in the in the comments section, and I'll make sure that I reply to them. Uh, besides that, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing that you'll want to set up or get ready is going to be your OBS. So, as you can see here, I have my overlays already set. I also have Twitch alerts set up in those, and that's what that scrolling text is. Um, Twitch alerts is great. There will be more videos on that and OBS setup, anything else that you guys need, just ask. I'll make sure it gets there. So within OBS, you always want to make sure that your mic volume is all the way down. And then for this, we're actually going to be using a full screen capture for OBS. And I'll show you why in just a moment. So next, we're going to go ahead and get our live dashboard going with YouTube. So this is the account that I just don't care about. This is going to be the one that's going to be streaming the live information that we need the overlays to go on to. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already started the broadcast on my PlayStation. Let me go ahead and refresh this page and see if it's coming up yet. There we go. So we got our live stream going here. We're going to go ahead and go to the public view. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the volume so I'm not hearing it here. But this is the video that we're going to capture here. And like I said before, we're going to do it in full screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the full screen. You got that nice matrix effect there showing you that it's covering the full screen of my computer. We're going to click start streaming. And that is going to start making all of this video that you're seeing right here go to my primary YouTube channel. So now that we have that full screen, we're going to make the live feed full screen also. And when we don't, when we just don't touch it like that, you'll see the bars go away. Now, the screen that we're currently looking at, this is what's going to the channel that we just don't care about. However, I will show you the other screens, like my primary Twitch and YouTube account, that those are streaming with the overlay. So we'll go ahead and go to this one first. 
Okay, it looks like there's an ad playing on Twitch. We'll refresh that. And we'll wait for Twitch to get done loading. Alright, looks like this one's still taking a little bit longer to get the restream feed. But there it is. So you can clearly see that the overlay is still there, and it is broadcasting live, so that's why you're seeing all of this. But you have the fresh overlay right there. It's going to Twitch. It will eventually get to YouTube once Restream does get it there, or perhaps I need to fix some of my streaming capabilities there. But that's the basics of adding it without a capture card or without needing anything else. So if there are any questions about how this whole process works, or if I need to clarify anything, um, teach you how to set anything up, just let me know. That's what I'm here for. So um, have fun and create some great overlays. Have a good one.